Hey everyone, this video is going to be about presenting you a new system I added to RPG Builder, which is called bonuses as you could see. So bonuses are under the general um, categories and the bonuses module. And as you can see, we already have a few created here. We will be creating a new one together, just, you know, to make sure everything is clear. Um, let's call this uh, intellect bonus, for example. And let's select an icon. We don't really care about the icon, to be honest. Let's just pick this one. So bonuses, just like abilities, recipes, and resource nodes can have their ranks, meaning that uh, you can upgrade them, downgrade them as you wish, and have multiple versions of them. So the unlock cost could be one or whatever you want. And as you can see here, we have an effect applied um list. So this is very simple. This means that whenever this bonus is going to be active, it's going to apply those effects to your character. So let's just hit save on this one right now and go to combat effects and create a new one and call this intellect bonus. Let's select the same icon, even if it's not really that important, the icon for this effect. Let's make this effect of type stats. Let's add one stat to this effect. Let's select the intellect stats. Let's make it increase intellect by 40 and that's it. And let's make it cure, uh, value type of current. That's it. Now we can just save. We created a new effect. We go back to bonuses. We select the intellect one. And here we select, uh, we assign intellect bonus. And if we save again, you see that now we just created a bonus, which is giving us 40 intellect when active. So this is um, very useful because um, bonuses are going to be possible to use in many different places in RPG Builder. One of the main way I'm personally going to be using them is in talent trees. So this lets you create some kind of passive nodes that you know you can learn, upgrade, and uh, unlock for your characters that are going to be you know increasing some stats passively, which is always a pretty cool thing to have in. Um, talent trees and things like that, but not only. Bonuses are going to be possible to attach to races, classes, skills, items, um, bonus sets, quests, even achievements. When I'm talking about quest, uh, I'm going to make it possible to have a bonus only active when you, for example, complete a quest or um, accept a quest or something like that. So now, how are we you know, unlocking bonuses in game. So there are many ways, but for this video, I'm only going to be covering the talent tree way. So if we go to the talent tree here, we see that we have quite a few nodes in there. We have some recipes, some abilities, some resource nodes, but all the way down, we have our bonuses. We have the fire damage one, health one, and strength one. So we will be adding a new one, which is of type bonus, of course, and we will be selecting our um, intellect bonus. And we will be making it uh, on the ninth tier and the second uh, slot. We can just save that. And that's it. We created a new bonus, a new effect, and a new node in our talent tree. Now, if we go in game, I'm going to be creating a new character. Let's call it bonus test video, for example, because I have no inspiration after a month of working on this game and creating new characters. I mean, on this game, on this tool. And uh, now if we go to the talent tree here, you see that we have all our bonuses and also the one we just created, the intellect one. So let's quickly take a look at uh, the current stats of our character. So if we see we, here, we have 1700 health, we have zero strength, we have uh, zero fire damage, and we have zero intellect. If I go ahead now and learn the um, intellect bonus, you see that we now have 40 intellects. So our bonus is in the tree right now. It's possible to be learned and also unlearn. As you can see, I can unlearn it and now we, we are back to zero. The reason I'm closing the uh, character panel every time is because the UI is not refreshed automatically already, but you see that uh, as soon as you reopen, it is. So um, pretty cool. We, you know, learned, I mean, we created a new passive uh, bonus. We attached it to this tree and we could learn it. But I want to show you one more thing, which is uh, very useful. So if we go to bonuses here, we see that we have this uh, uh, health bonus um, here. And this one has something that the intellect one doesn't have. This one has requirements. It has only one. Requirements can be of many different types. But in this case, we keep it simple. And we say that the health bonus is only active if we have a, a weapon of type axe equipped. 
So if we go ahead here and unlock this uh, passive bonus, you see that our health didn't change at all. We spent a point, we learned this bonus, but our health is still the same. So it's almost like the bonus is not active, right? And this is very simple. This is because we do not have an axe equipped. So if I go ahead and give myself an axe and I now equip it, you see that the bonus is now active. We already know it, but it's only active, of course, when the requirements are met. And it's not the axe giving us this health. As you can see, the axe is only giving 10 health, but we got quite a lot more than that. And if I unequip the axe, once again, it's going to, you know, um, remove the uh, effect as well as if I unlearn the passive. So um, I mean the bonus and now the health is back to normal. So that's pretty much it uh, for this video. I wanted to quickly show you how you create new bonuses, how you use them in game and how they can affect your character. But as I said later, they will not only let you add some passive stats, they will let you do a lot more than that, such as, for example, having some combat action. So you could have a bonus which um, gives you, for example, I don't know, a 8% chance to trigger a fire explosion every time you take fire damage or whatever, like all kind of different things and um, actions that could be triggered by those bonuses. So pretty cool. I personally really love this kind of system. I think I made it super easy to use in RPG Builder. I do my best as always um, for the systems to be as flexible as possible for developers. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.